This UCSD TV program is a presentation of University of California Television for educational and non commercial use only. This is a podcast of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. To learn more about how you can support Scripps, visit us online at scripps.ucsd.edu. Around the world, locations that remain free from human influence are disappearing. From rainforest jungles to the deep sea, human impacts are increasingly being felt in more and more sites across the planet. In the early 1990s, several organizations united to help protect the world's biodiversity. Their aim was not just to preserve the rich diversity of life, but to conserve it in the name of finding new sources to help treat human diseases. Today, some 40 to 50% of drugs in use originated from natural products. The International Cooperative Biodiversity Groups, or ICBG, was launched in 1992 as an acknowledgement that many novel compounds in nature are vanishing as habitat is lost and species go extinct. At several sites around the world, the ICBG program works to conserve biodiversity, train young scientists, and foster growth in economically disadvantaged countries. Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego scientist Bill Gerwick has overseen one of the most successful ICBG programs at a research site in Panama. There, researchers are exploring the vast richness of Panama's wilderness in the search for treatments to a variety of human diseases. We're very fortunate, very uh, 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 grateful to uh, receive continued funding on this program. And it's been really quite successful in discovering new lead compounds in cancer and tropical diseases like malaria, Leishmania, Chagas disease, which has become the focus of our program in Panama. Many Panamanians suffer from these diseases and uh, we're looking to their biodiversity to help find new cures and treatments for those very same diseases. We all know the Panama Canal uh, and that's what we think of when we hear the country of Panama, but it's only a very small part of the country. And having been there now quite a number of times over the years, uh, I've come to realize that Panama is an amazingly uh, remote part of the world with uh, many parts of it uh, just very inaccessible by any kind of vehicle. It, you really have to hike uh, to these spots or take uh, boats uh, from uh, distant locations. Perhaps the best example of the success of Gerwick's ICBG program in Panama is a cancer drug candidate discovered in a remote island off the Central American country's coast. It's here in the island of Coiba's undisturbed wilderness that a substance was found unlike any the researchers had ever seen. The island of uh, Cueva uh, is really a, a remarkable island and uh, it's essentially uninhabited uh, except for a few prisoners that still remain there from a larger prison that used to be there. Uh, in fact, that prison kind of safeguarded the island from development. There was a, a possibility that island was going to be developed in a touristic sense, but uh, our group in con uh, concert with several other groups came together and helped to uh, first have that named a national park. And then it's just so remarkable that it, uh, the, an international body looked at it and decided that it was meritorious for naming as a World Heritage Site. So this really puts it into a long-term conservation status. And, and it was from uh, some diving around the uh, island of uh, Cueva that we collected some thin filaments that were grouped together into a, like a, it looked like somebody's hair was waving off the seafloor back and forth. And in fact, it was kind of purplish white in color. And uh, we made a collection of that and tested the uh, extract of that material. So we extract the oily constituents from that, that tissue. And we found that it had amazing cancer cell toxicity uh, associated with that extract. What's most exciting about this compound, which we were pleased to call quavamide after the island of Cueva, uh, quavamide A actually, uh, is that it is a novel kind of structure. We've never seen a structure of quite this sort before. And it, it kills or inhibits the division of cancer cells in a way that we've never seen before. Bill Gerwick is joined at the Panamanian ICBG Research Program by Lena Gerwick, a Scripps biologist, and Scripps postdoctoral researcher Marcy Balunas, who also holds a postdoctoral fellowship at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. 
so why is it so important to uh, to uh, uh, keep our biodiversity? And uh, sometimes that argument is hard to find good reasons for why we have that argument. I mean, things die off all the time. But when you start looking at uh, the biodiversity and the different molecules that are produced by different organisms, and then you start thinking that, okay, maybe this organism over here produces the next uh, cure for malaria. Do I really want that to die off before I know that? It is easy to understand that if your grandchild has malaria and you can find a treatment for that in an organism, you need to save that one because we don't know for the future. We know, need to know that we can still go to that organism and find that molecule and that might cure your grandchild. Panama is a great place to live and to work and it's given me some really unique opportunities as a as a scientist as a postdoctoral fellow but also as a as a person living in a in another country and learning Spanish learning another language um, learning about the Panamanian culture and becoming part of this culture as a as a US citizen abroad so working in Panama it's an adventure every day I have adventures in the city so urban adventures and I have adventures Adventures during um, during um, hiking trips or during marine collection trips and we go to places that are amazingly wonderful and some of which have been protected by the Panamanian government and therefore have really stayed in a pristine condition where we're seeing things like sharks and rays and and um, all sorts of different organisms and it's really an amazing experience. This has been a presentation of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego.